people who opposed the Islamic Cultural Center and mosque tried to use scare tactics to basically frighten people into opposing the project. So let me just take a minute to briefly explain the history of the project. I know there probably isn't anyone in New York who didn't read about the project over the summer. It came to Community Board 1 in May. This was an as-of-right development, so meaning it didn't need the community board's approval at all, but I felt very uh, strongly that we needed to take the issue on. And we did, and we had a vote of 29 in favor and one opposed. And for any of you who serve on a community board, that is a very strong vote for a community board. 10 people abstained, but we had 29 votes in favor. Now, what ended up happening is the media quickly picked up on the issue, and between the time when we had our committee vote and our full board vote, some people in the media employed scare tactics to try to gin up opposition to the project. They indicated that our community board was approving a mega mosque, what they called it, a mega mosque at ground zero. Now the project, first of all, was not even at ground zero. For those who are familiar with some of the facts, this was a group, a mosque that actually had been in our lower Manhattan neighborhood for 23 years. And they wanted to move 10 blocks away from ground zero to a location that was two and a half blocks away from ground zero. And so what we felt very strongly about is they should 100% have the right to build this project. We have to remember, of course, that our country was founded by people who escaped religious persecution. So who are we as city government to stop the project? And what ended up happening, unfortunately, is national politicians like Sarah Palin and Newt Gingrich tried to come in and tell our community what its destiny should be. And just like I don't presume to tell Wasilla, Alaska, what their destiny should be. It was totally offensive that these politicians who have no connection to New York, who have not even visited the site in question, were trying to tell us and trying to gin up scare tactics. So where the issue stands right now, as you may have read, in Staten Island, they turned down a mosque. In Sheepshead Bay in Brooklyn, there's huge community opposition to a mosque. So we are talking about a fifth of the world's population. And it's very disheartening when New Yorkers are basically saying that they don't want to have a mosque in their community. And so I am very proud of our community board that we stood up on this issue. We did receive death threats. We received death threats before we voted, during the vote, after the vote. And it was really one of the more discouraging moments in my tenure as chairing the board. But the good news is that ultimately our board uh, voted very strongly in favor of it. So I really thank you for having me here tonight. I think it's a very important issue. I think it's a civil rights issue. I think as we approach the 10-year anniversary of 9-11, it's an issue that we all should be united on. And unfortunately, it's an issue that I don't think is going to go away anytime soon. And I think we're going to see it, unfortunately, rear its head again and again throughout our city.